And we begin tonight with reaction across this country and the world to President Trump's decision to pull out of the Paris Climate Accord, the U.S. joining only Syria and Nicaragua in not joining the deal. The president said today it was a bad deal for America and that he was elected to represent the, quote, citizens of Pittsburgh, not Paris. Tonight, the mayor of Pittsburgh, among the many reacting corporate leaders speaking out. And President Trump a short time ago fielding calls from the German chancellor and from the French president, who went on television saying, make our planet great again, saying the United States has turned its back on the world. ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega leading us off. With the world watching today, President Trump walked into the Rose Garden to deliver the news himself. Therefore, in order to fulfill my solemn duty to protect America and its citizens, the United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. To the cheers of White House aides and others who lobbied against the agreement, he made good on that campaign promise. But in his own inner circle, the divisions ran deep. Right there in the front row, the man who lobbied for withdrawal, his chief strategist Steve Bannon. Not seen, those who opposed leaving the deal, daughter Ivanka. She was home marking the Jewish holiday. The last minute lobbying from around the world intense, but the bottom line for President Trump, American jobs. I was elected to represent the citizens of Pittsburgh, not Paris. I promised I would exit or renegotiate any deal which fails to serve America's interests. The reaction, swift. The mayor of Pittsburgh tweeting, I can assure you that we will follow the guidelines of the Paris Agreement for our people, our economy, and future. The Sierra Club saying, congratulations, President Bannon. Leonardo DiCaprio tweeting, our planet suffered. But the president said the benefits just didn't add up. A number of Republicans agreeing, including Paul Ryan, saying the Paris Climate Agreement was simply a raw deal for America. Even if the Paris Agreement were implemented in full, with total compliance from all nations, it is estimated it would only produce a two-tenths of one degree, think of that, this much Celsius reduction in global temperature by the year 2100. Tiny, tiny amount. On the campaign trail, he called climate change a hoax. A lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, okay? It's a hoax. A lot of it. But recently, aides said his views are evolving. On that foreign trip, he faced intense lobbying from world leaders, including the Pope. The president's beliefs about global warming not made any clearer today. Just five minutes after announcing his decision to leave the Paris Accord, he declared his love for the environment. As someone who cares deeply about the environment, which I do, I cannot in good conscience support a deal that punishes the United States, which is what it does. While President States. Trump says he would be willing to negotiate the, the deal the all over again. We will see if we can make a deal that's fair. And if we can, that's great. And if we can't, that's fine. Tonight, from the leaders of France, Germany, and Italy, a collective rejection. Their joint statement saying the Paris Climate Accord cannot be renegotiated. This German paper saying, Danke, Donald. The German chancellor even calling the president. She says she's disappointed. And late today, the French president, Emmanuel Macron, saying this. Make our planet great again. So let's get to Cecilia Vega live at the White House tonight. Cecilia, nearly 200 countries had signed the Paris Climate Agreement, and so much has been made that this agreement was non-binding, essentially the global community acknowledging work needs to be done on climate change. So what was the urgency behind getting out of something so quickly that was non-binding? Well, David, you heard the president here today. For him, this is about jobs. This is about making good on that campaign promise. He and this White House are chalking this up to a big win at a time when they desperately need one, David. Cecilia Vega leading us off tonight. Cecilia, thank you.